on the stage left side of the second proscenium, just downstage of the second proscenium, and those are attached directly to the wall. And these currently have extensions running all the way around for mom for the Mamma Mia show, and they're they're powering uh, floor mounts that we have on the floor. But that's where the circuits are. Um, hmm. Oh, and then. Uh, 131 and 132, they were over here in the stage right catwalk, but they got run back. The, these, these cables, so I don't want you to pay any attention to these. These cables got struck because we had to run circuits from 131 and 132 for Mamma Mia for more floor mounts that were upstage of the fourth electric. Um... What's important here is that you remember uh, where the dimmers are located. So this is this is the dimmer location here. And dimmers upstage left are dimmers 115 through 138. Now, here's the rub. Um, because you only have really essentially three functionally, decently functioning 6Ks. I need you to know where or if you want to use Sky Sykes uh, because that's going to be really important to know where cables run because right now, currently, I have this snake on the third electric, but I'm not using it on the third electric. So we, I've got... I've got um, the opposite end of this snake over up here where my dimmers are not plugged in and I've got temporary long runs from these from these uh, with these circuit numbers from these dimmers up here running up to provide power to extra specials on the fourth electric so you can have these circuits here on the third electric or you can have them on the fourth electric, but you can't have 121 on the third electric and the fourth electric. So I need to know where you want to allocate um, these dimmers, and in particularly uh, where you want to allocate the three 6Ks that you have, which is, uh, I think it's 128. 129 and I think it's 131 I'll have to double check but you have three working 6ks and two sort of working you know two well functioning 3ks out of what used to be a full 6k pack 6k six pack which makes me sad um but uh I'm, I'm not allowing people to overload inputs on dimmers anymore I'm kind of putting my foot down because the problem that we have had is that people have just taken a twofer and shoved two 1K units into one input out of four in a 6K pack and just blown up that that female receptor that's installed in the dimmer pack itself. And I don't have anything to replace it with because it's older than dirt. So that's, I'm, I'm stopping doing that. So it's very, very important that I know how I'm going to allocate all the extra cable and, and where it's going. And I'm gonna to try to keep all loads to 1K and under. Uh, and, and if you've got two inputs in the back of a dimmer rack like we do up here, that's great. But if you wanna, if you wanna put two 1K units into a 2.4K dimmer up here, I'm all for that but we're gonna to have to use two circuits, two separate cables to use both inputs because I'm not, I'm not overloading um, an input on the dimmer racks themselves anymore because the Emmys before me did that and, and now I'm dealing with those consequences from years past and I'm trying to get them fixed as I can as well as I can with resources at hand, which is to say, well, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> so where do you want to allocate 121 through 126 
and 128 through 132. You want them on the third electric, you want them on the fourth electric, you want them, and right now, 133 through 138 is a snake that's running from the from the from one of the packs, one of the dimmer packs upstage left, from a, to a snake up here. And I call these my oh shit circuits or my emergency circuits or my, oh my God, we need to add something at the last second circuits. And we always wind up using pretty much all of them um, between electric one, electric two, electric three, and any anything that needs to fly that has lights on it. Right now we have a castle that flies in and has candelabras that are using for mermaid, which are using several of these. And in Mamma Mia, we have a wedding, some sort of a, a it's like a wedding theme thing with string lights that are using two of these for Mamma Mia. So we always wind up using these for something. And if you want to, you can take the snake of six circuits and put it on the third electric, the second electric, or the first electric. But just be warned, you're not going to have your what I call the oh shit dimmers available if something happens. God forbid. I like having them also, uh, not because I like keeping circuits and dimmers from designers, but because should one of the the dimmers die, and I need to wait a few days to get a replacement card. I have a backup, and in a space like this, I have found that it's really important to have backups that can access a proscenium pipe, a cove, three to four electrics in, in fairly short order. It's really good. I really like having these here because it's it covers my ass, and it also, and for that matter, it covers the show's ass, so... Let me know where you want to put them. Um, if you can possibly leave the snake here, please do so. <laughs> I'll run cables anywhere you want from here. Um, if if we can possibly do that, that would be good. Because um, it's just it's just so helpful. Because you usually wind up having one or two that you're not using that that you know will cover you if something pops or blows and it's going to take a couple of days to replace and or fix and or repair uh, one of the dimmers, particularly the older dimmers that live up here. Okay, done with that. Now we have floor mounts. We have four, five, six. These are all on the floor. And one, two, and three. All right, currently... Currently, one is being run underneath the deck and is powering a light that's sitting on top of this platform right here. It's about seven feet in the air. And um, four and five are being run under the deck, underneath the underneath the deck, and are coming out um, by where the um, the orchestra is. So the orchestra is underneath the deck right here and are powering the footlights that we have. We have remember we have no indigenous circuits for footlights. So right now we've got one footlight that's center stage that's independent and then we have one footlight, one footlight, we have for one footlight and one footlight. So we have four other footlights are on circuit number 5. The center one's on circuit number 4 and the other four are on circuit number 5 and those four come up together and they give a really nice those are inkies and they give a really nice uh, upwash, you know, kind of fill in the face a little bit. So, but you know, we can we can definitely not do that if you don't want footlights and allocate the floor mounts somewhere else. Um, please, before before you decide, um, oh, if, before you say something like, oh, I'll just plug it into a floor mount. Please make sure. Um, and, and work with the scenic designer to f make sure that nothing's going to roll over it. Wagons rolling over these things and over the cable is just my nightmare. So um, yeah, I, I would much rather, if possible, have something coming down from above that would supply power rather than coming up from the floor if wagons are going to roll over the floor mounts, if at, if at all possible. So... Let me let me know what you think about that. And I will also, of course, I will send you pictures of both of these uh, pieces of paper. 
and I hope that this is helpful. I know this is a really long video, but it helps to just have a quick reminder, and I hope that this is helpful, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you later, and call me if you've got any questions. Thanks. Bye.